basically uh, that person appeared for the interview last time and from his uh, opinion and a, a lot of persons we talked to we realized mm-hmm. that there is nothing very certain that they will ask you in this interview so the only strategy is risk minimization so hello and welcome vishal to the ecoholic stopper stock uh heartiest congratulations first of all for cracking the indian economic services examination the very important examination by upsc for policy making i'm sure that uh, you must be thrilled and i want to know how you are feeling and how everyone's reaction was uh when the exam result came out how were your parents reaction and elders and mentors how were they feeling uh thank you fam- ma'am for inviting me here uh the feeling was very great uh it i was in office uh, and uh, just came back at home and we never know with upsc when they will declare the result and uh, yeah i have seen that usually it's uh, after office so i came i was preparing some tea was very tired with the day uh mm-hmm. just uh, i was about to have a sip and then saw my phone before having a sip uh, saw the result and uh, uh, feeling was very awesome so mm-hmm. there there comes a time when you see your name in the list uh, mm-hmm. when you, uh, you when you tend to think whether it's real or not so that was that kind of moment so around 2 minutes later uh, i called my parents and told them that i have cleared this examination and they were very happy uh, my mm-hmm. grandmother was there with them she uh, i got to know that she started crying my parents also cried a so bit so it was yeah. a very nice moment happy moment yeah brilliant brilliant uh vishal i really want to know about um your um you know uh, the way in which you pursued economic services examination and when did it all start i mean um it, it, was it in graduation or post graduation when you started off for this exams preparation um uh, actually uh, in my last years of bachelors in shri ram college of commerce delhi university mm-hmm. i got to know about this exam uh by that time i didn't even know about the rbi dpr exam which i cracked last year so uh I, after i entered jnu uh, i met some of my seniors who mm-hmm. cracked the services and uh, after a good amount of interaction with them i thought that this is an exam worth appearing for however uh, last year i wanted to give it but could not due to some reasons i uh, joined rbi and right. this was my first attempt after i came in the rbi so the journey wow. the journey was nice uh, i prepared for i i had time around 4 uh, to 5 months to prepare for this examinations mm-hmm. the previous knowledge which i garnered while i was preparing for rbi dpr came in handy in this yeah so, right right Uh, amazing uh, actually when we talk about economic services there's a lot of uh, so it's a challenging um, aspect of policy making because we cover a lot of subjects there's a lot of subject coverage then of course there's a lot of general knowledge general awareness that's required and uh, more so upsc has now um, you know started giving a lot of current affair related aspect to indian economy questions or to you know general awareness questions so how did you prepare for uh, those contemporary issues and uh, was it like a regular reading of some articles already you were working with rbi so things are updated pretty much there but what was the side angle to it uh, as such there is no side angle ma'am things are very straight forward uh, uh, it was the current awareness uh, which uh, uh, i mean the stock of the current affairs that we have in mind at a point of time it's a culmination of for the reading of the newspaper for around 2 and 2 and 1/2 years i'm yeah. i'm saying uh, it for me things may vary for other people so i was continuous into the reading of the newspapers and i think uh, that creates a, a lot of opinions uh, one can have a lot of opinions uh, uh, by reading the newspapers uh, moreover uh, one has to be very aware of what things are going on in the economy if you are preparing for this kind of examination uh, mm-hmm. in gdpr we, when we were preparing uh, this was the one straight forward suggestion from every senior who was into mm-hmm. service that you should have uh, the current affairs on your tips so uh, it was a uh, it was two and a half years of newspaper reading and nothing much beyond that right much about mental preparation and um, all that 
Yes. Right. Um, when did you start, uh, you know, aspiring for such, um, you know, opportunities in economics? Uh, was it like in school um, where you had like subjects of economics or it only started after graduation? Uh, in my ninth and 10th class, there is usually, there was a preliminary, very preliminary uh, economic book. So it has mm-hmm. around two to three chapters it used to it, it gave us a good story of our on of a village named palampur everybody right. studied it they must remember it so uh so that was my introduction to economics uh i was very drawn to it after reading uh, say one two chapters then i in my 11th class i was very determined that this will be the subject whether i take commerce or science yes. this will be one subject that i'll be taking with me uh, th- as things unfolded, I chose commerce and then I landed in Sri Ram College of Commerce, where, which provided me an, uh, an ample amount of opportunity uh, to interact with the best teachers uh, there are in the uh, uh, country. So uh, there, uh, my uh, experience and, and all the teachings that I got from the teachers uh, led me to take up masters, which I initially did not plan. So I landed mm-hmm. in JNU. And things unfolded since. So did you also plan to do like research uh, into the field of economics or was it like always a a goal of uh, cracking a competitive examination of economics? Um, After I finished my master's, I wanted to pursue research. But Mm. as things were uh, financial constraints as well. So Mm. the first thing which came to my mind after my master's was to uh, get a job. And uh, yeah. RBI uh, uh, provided me an opportunity, like you were getting paid for doing the things you wanted to do. Basically. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So this was an opportunity. I took it. And uh, then I uh, appeared for this exam, which I wanted to. Right, right. Vishal, I, I see from uh, even while you had given uh, a mock uh, at Ecoholics and even now while you speak, there's a lot of um, confidence and there's a lot of self-made awareness that you know you have to you have to do this or you must do this there's there's a lot, a lot of determination that you have that you exude also in your personality so how, when when did that start coming at uh, to you because um, students at the very tender age in their teens they start formulating their career choices and for students who are in economics there are ample amount of choices and there's a lot of patience that's required so uh, you know how did you start preparing yourself for these competitive examinations and you know that you need to crack the examination when did it all start and how did you you know cope up with it uh actually the place i come from it's in northeast delhi and people there usually uh, do not know about these kind of opportunities one has with economics as a subject in its uh, graduation or masters so mm-hmm. uh, i got to know it as i landed in shriram college of commerce there i uh, got to know that these are still the very good opportunities apart from the opportunities which uh, people uh, in my area used to think about they used to think about usually going into teaching or uh, going uh, landing a government job through ssc cgl mm-hmm. examination or more so direct upsc examination yeah. so so uh, i think the institutions played a major role in shaping up the trajectory i followed uh moreover the people with which you interact uh they shape your personality to a great extent so when i interacted with the seniors who are from mm-hmm. the service and that kind of difference they showed the potential to make so that motivated me to get into the service and uh, i think uh, last year when i gave the rbi dpr exam and uh, mm-hmm. when i got into rbi this i thought IES was the next milestone for me that at that time I thought that and uh, our training went in January and February and after that I started preparing for this exam so it's barely four months uh, I got yeah. prepared for this. Absolutely yes uh, but I believe that with the strong foundation and a strong sense of uh, awareness and conviction uh, you achieved it. Um, in that time period and it's a you know a great thing to have that kind of conviction um even for for the students who listen to this um you know what what's your message to all those who are aspiring for um career options in economics uh upsc indian economic services is one of course rbi great bdepr uh, but then are 
and a number of opportunities but um, what i want to emphasize uh, upon uh, by you is you need to tell the students about what all things uh, they need to uh, have in them so that they can pursue their career efficiently in economics uh the first thing is um you should have interest in economics because this uh, these jobs requires that uh and say if somebody wants to uh, aspire for this job but still they lack that kind of uh, interest then i think they should give them a good chance by mm -hmm. reading uh, newspaper regularly this may infuse uh, in them a sense of uh, interest towards economics this will happen i'm sure if they do uh, if they give uh, one or two hour of the day diligently continuously moreover uh, this is a very general thing uh, and it applies for every exam not necessarily any exam related to economics this is um, and I, i have been influenced by this so this is um, say uh, if you want to quit there will come a lot of times when you will think of quitting just think that uh, you never know where the finish line is and how mm. near you were when you decided to quit so this thing uh, motivated me a lot because they, you know this this comes into everybody's life when they are preparing yeah. for the exam yes yes very so, well said actually because uh, students tend to get that anxiety and due to that anxiety there's a spiral of emotions and sometimes they quit very very near to um, their success so yeah yes uh, and and the second thing is perseverance is must and you need to in the hard times you need to trust your judgment and trust yourself these are the two things so uh, trusting yourself is not easy vishal and uh, i would like to know that uh, how did you start um, mentally prepping for this uh, and i would like to take you to the final round of the examination which is the interview round and uh, that's when the personality gets checked it's also written personality test so uh, what all things were going in your mind uh, while prepping for the personality test for the interview uh, so this is my first attempt and uh, in uh, in august of 2023 we got our written uh, results so yeah. as soon as the results came out there was a one good friend of mine who is a batchmate in rbi he was also preparing for this exam and we thoroughly mm -hmm. talked and made a very uh, grand plan of how things will go in the coming 2 3 months we didn't know the timeline as to when the interview will take place ha huh. so basically uh, that person appeared for the interview last time and from his uh, opinion and a, a lot of persons we talked to we realized mm -hmm. that there is nothing very certain that they'll ask you in this interview so the only strategy is risk minimization these were oh. th th this is uh, what our stronghold was so we have to minimize the risk um we have yeah. to work on those areas from where we think that the questions will be asked readily so one area mm -hmm. is rbi we were mm -hmm. fully prepared regarding what our job profiles there were and what rbi stands is around yeah. a lot of different things yeah then, uh what we used to do the personality aspect which you are talking about this mm -hmm. uh, i think this is a process and uh, yes. uh, in the grand scheme of things uh, there was one thing that uh, in the night after uh, uh i mean in the night every day we discussed a lot of articles which we read the two newspapers we used to follow uh, one is mm -hmm. indian express it's a very general newspaper and the other is business standard or mint you can take any so we used to uh, uh, we used to already tell each other that this will be the articles which will be studying today and at by the end of the day we used to uh, 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 discuss with each other those articles and mm -hmm. things used to get intense sometimes where we didn't used to have similar opinion regarding a particular uh, article so uh, we used to grill each other up and that sharpened our thought process actually and we used to do it very formally over the phone so that uh, etiquette uh, or the personality thing got inculcated actually uh, automatically and then practice is important we gave around three mocks one of course mm -hmm. was taken by colleagues so these were the strategies which we followed during our interview preparation wow that's that's such that's a good plan <laughs> uh, i'm really yeah yeah it de definitely helped you carve your uh, personality even further 
i believe that um, i think you had it in you initially when you thought back then last year that you know the next milestone is going to be upsc ies and you made sure that it's going to be your milestone <laughs> this year so um kudos to that i mean really impressive vishal um concludingly vishal i'd like to just ask you about uh, how could um if if there was any any tiny responsibility that ecoholics could take for you um and you know help you out in your uh, final uh, you know journey of uh, becoming the officer so if there's anything that we could do <laughs> you can mention that everything was fine uh, the first thing i came in contact related to economics was the pdfs you prepared for the uh, past year questions these were very helpful i just uh, got them printed and used to solve the questions and these were very important and the second thing was the mocks which uh, you conducted in around october these were very helpful the feedback i got from the mocks helped me uh, in the coming two months in strategizing things then a uh, personalized guidance session with sanat sir was also very nice uh, it it actually uh, kind of a provided us uh, how things uh, should be done during the interview day which uh, the kind of guidance should be there which everybody should know but is not provided by a lot of coaching institutes so you provided that so i'm very thankful to that uh, everything was nice so please keep going with this and keep helping students like me in the Abs- yes group. absolutely <laughs> we will just bask in the glory we are just basking in the glory of your success <laughs> ultimately it's all your hard work and uh, a lot of uh, courage and vishal very impressive i i'm sure that students are going to take this as um, a lesson and uh, you know as how one should really plan everything in such a way with the kind of positive attitude that you had and uh, you already saw it coming that this is this is my goal this is i'm going to go, get through it and these are so, very kind words but you know <laughs> things can go either way it just the risk minimization has to be there that's what we i think the 50% of the things get done when you plan well so uh, actually the um, fantastic one you know it of course whether it's mains examination or or the interview so this can happen the other way also there are limited number of people who sit for the examination vacancies there's so many external factors but um, the kind of conviction and the kind of planning that it requires i mean great job great job happy <laughs> 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 congratulations thank you thank you so thank you so much vishal for your time for your candid conversation uh, with us and uh, i'm i'm really sure that you are going to get all the great opportunities now that you are the economics officer so uh, keep that flag um, going up and uh, do great job in economics yeah all the best okay thank you so much ma'am thank you for allowing me to share my humble views with you and i hope this will help uh, many aspirants in their journey thank you so much yes hope likewise thank you thank you vishal thank all you. the best thank you so much ma'am